All right, quick disclaimer. This YouTube channel is not a ranting channel, but we are going to make some changes for that today because last week I saw a video and I couldn't believe what I saw and it was the biggest blunder that a DJ could do. So that is the reason why I'm making today's video and today's video is five mistakes that the DJs should avoid as a beginner and not just as a beginner, but a lot of DJs who have been DJing for very long still make these mistakes. So watch this video. So you make sure that you do not make these mistakes. Please guys change this. Let me show you that video that I was talking about. There you go. What's good you guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is deep and this is where i do a lot of djing and tech related tutorials tips and tricks to help you become a better dj and to help you get better at using technology so if you're new here please consider subscribing all right today's video very special five mistakes that the djs should avoid as a beginner and these are not just mistakes that i'm going to talk out of the blue these are real genuine uh, real world problems that i see that the djs make do not make these mistakes okay and the first one happens to be from a video that i saw and that is the reason i couldn't believe myself they have more than 100k followers on instagram but they're openly making this and it was just so let me show you the video but what you need to notice is the mixer section and please let me know in the comment section below if you see something wrong i'm gonna play that video again okay Especially this one, check this out. I'm gonna pause this screen. Please see what this is, okay? Now, if you can see what the mistake is, please comment and let me know. I'm gonna wait for five seconds and this is your chance to tell me what is wrong in that picture. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna tell you. Check out the EQs. Why are they all up like that? Why? And can you see the lights? They are hitting the red. She's basically red lining right now. And not just that, check this out. She's doing that for both the channels. Both the channels are running at maximum gain. Okay, this is a more clearer video, check this out. Okay guys, please do not make this mistake. Redlining is not at all accepted. Forget redlining for a moment, but why are these equalizers on the plus? Why are they all cranked up? I don't believe it. I mean, there is a reason why they give you that addition, okay? Why they give you the increment of each frequency is because when you reduce a frequency, all other frequencies from all, all the channels, highs, mids and lows also go down, okay? Because all highs, mids and lows have frequencies of each high, low and mid. So when you lower the low, even some of the mids go down. And when you lower the mid, some of the highs go down. So the reason why they give you uh, the plus uh, on the EQ knob is because to compensate for what you have removed from the other frequencies. Not so that you can do that to all the frequencies, not at all. So just so if you happen to reduce the lows, just because you happen to reduce the lows, if you want to increase the mids a bit, you will compensate by increasing the mids. Similarly, if you reduce the mids completely, you will compensate by adding the highs, but definitely not like this. I'm just thinking about the controller right now. The controller would be like, you're killing your controller right now or the mixer when you do this. Please do not make this mistake. And when other DJs watch this, it's just not accepted. They're gonna make a fool out of you. And forget about all these things. It's gonna sound terrible. Like seriously, the reason why she's doing this is because her master is low and she's not able to hear the audio. So she's cranking everything up. Please do not be this guy. Increase the master to at least one o'clock or two o'clock and reduce the gain and do not go to that red light territory on your controller or mixer. You're definitely going to ruin the controller or the mixer. And that is point number one. 
do not redline your channels do not redline on the mixer that is not at all accepted please just to let you know this video is not to defame anyone no i'm not at all into that kind of things i'm not showing that person because i want to defame that person i'm just trying to make you understand that do not do that mistake that that person was doing because that is not at all right as a dj not at all right as a beginner dj not at all right as a professional dj you're just giving a setting a bad example for everyone else who's trying to look at you and learn from you don't do that mistake so please don't think that i'm trying to defame that person no i tried my level best to remove that person's identity as much as possible and focus on the content which was not right okay so let's talk about the second mistake that i see a lot of dj's doing so off late because we've been posting a lot of dj routines it's lockdown and everybody is posting their routines i happen to see a lot of dj's using a lot of effects overuse of effects is not accepted okay let me talk about one particular effect which is the flanger a very popular effect which totally annoys me i hate that effect and when dj's are performing they just go all crazy with it let me show you what they do <laughs> can you believe it guys that is not at all accepted effects are supposed to enhance your track not destroy your track please uh, remember that also a uh, effect is a tool okay an effect is only to add a little bit of a flavor to your track so i see all these dj's just going crazy on the effect section and i'm thinking to myself why why do you have to do that as a dj learn how to beat match correctly learn how to mix correctly and add the effects only to the intensity that is required don't overdo it don't crank it to its maximum you just need a little bit of it to add that flavor especially for the kind of genres and by the way if you want to know how to use effects correctly i can actually make a video and let you all know if you are interested in that let me know in the comment section i'll, I'll make a dedicated video how to use the effects correctly uh, in different genres also genres make an important uh, uh, role in using the effects you can only use a certain kind of effect in a certain kind of genre to make it better okay but otherwise no so please do not overdo the effect section and especially the flanger it's a very annoying effect it just pierces through your ear in a very irritating way don't overdo it if you still have to do it just a little bit is more than enough don't overdo it and especially not multi effects at the same time and that to too much of it please okay let's talk about the third mistake that i see a lot of dj's make and that is not mixing in phrases that's right dj's think that mixing is all about beat matching when i say dj's i'm talking about beginner dj's when they learn from the school they go out and then they start matching the beats and they think that they are able to uh, dj but no guys please understand that phrase mixing is what will improve your mixing skills i've already made a video about phrase mixing about how to uh, match the phrases so that when the phrase ends the second phrase of the new track begins okay let me explain what phrase mixing is what you do is that you play the new track at the beginning of a phrase of the existing track and when the phrase ends together the older track blends out automatically and the new track will blend in perfectly So if you don't know what I'm talking about I strongly recommend you go ahead and watch that video of mine in which I mentioned about phrase mixing trust me watch that video and that will instantly improve your mixing skills and you will automatically understand the importance of phrase mixing in your DJ set your DJ sets will automatically become a lot better than right now All right let's talk about the fourth point and that is not connecting with the crowd and looking at the computer screen or looking at the deck all the time that is not accepted okay as a beginner dj i understand when you're practicing i don't blame the dj's completely also because when you're practicing you're practicing at home and at home you don't have uh, the audience so you're used to looking at the screen because you have to check the browser you have to check if you're uh you know matching the beats and uh, mixing correctly and if you are playing in sync uh, by matching the beats and the bars of the waveform so you're doing all this at home so that you can improve your djing skills but when you go to the floor it just it is not at all correct to be on the floor with hundreds of the people in front of you looking at you perform and you're just looking at the screen 
no guys please don't do that all right and that is the fourth point and that is to make sure that you always connect with the crowd don't just involve yourself in looking at the screen all the time or or the deck all the time always remember to tell yourself to stop looking at the screen and stop looking at the deck and start looking at the crowd and understand and judge the crowd because that is going to improve your mixing and that is going to improve your dj set overall and everybody will also be very happy if they look at the dj move a lot looking at the people confident on the stage but if you're too involved they're just going to hate you for not uh, playing for them it will be very clear that you're just playing for yourself don't be that dj all right all right let's talk about the fifth and the last point which is a very controversial topic but i thought i should add this here because we used to talk about this particular point even 10 years ago when i started djing and that is don't be a wannabe don't add the dj letters in front of your dj name just because you think you're a dj from today no don't just wake up one day and think from today i'm a dj and go ahead and change your name on social media accounts and add dj in front of your account dj no <laughs> please don't be that guy have some respect for the people who are in the career have some respect for the people who are um, djing for very long djing is a serious job but because of people like you when i say you i'm not talking about everybody people who are not djs who have added djs in front of their names have given themselves that title you guys are the reason why people don't take the djs uh, very seriously so don't do that if you respect this art form i understand you are a fan of djing i understand that it looks cool and all of that but if you're not already a dj don't do that i mean think of tiesto hardwell calvin harris diplo skrillex do these people have dj in front of their names and they are the big names i'm talking about Okay, who is a DJ? You need to know how to DJ. You are a DJ uh, performing uh, constantly, or if you are a bedroom DJ, you do this as a hobby. Then you have to have an account, and that is where you do this. Just because you like, or just because you think that DJing is cool, you just go ahead and add that in front of you. Don't be a wannabe. No, please don't do that. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I've uh, all all these years. coming uh, you know growing as a dj i remember you know people saving contacts in other people's phones as please save my number as dj something even when they were not a dj please don't do that respect this art form and try to make sure that if you are really interested learn the art form we welcome you i am here i'm making this videos i'm making whatever i'm doing on my youtube channel is to help you guys who are interested in the art of djing but please don't do this wanna be kind of things don't you know fake the whole thing don't try to you know bring this whole uh, profession uh, down don't make it look bad basically all right so don't be a wanna be if you want to be a dj work hard learn the art form and we as uh, the other djs in the community will be more than happy to welcome you as a part of our community All right so that's it for now I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you guys got to learn something new if you guys did please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and while you're at it it will be nice if you can click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video that's been it my name is Deep and I will see you guys in the next one happy to help